Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and Ramadan Mubarak to our viewers all over the world. Welcome to Maggie Diaries. I'm your host, Hanifa Adam, and I'm delighted to have you here with me. In here, everyone is welcome. Joining me in the kitchen today is a makeup artist and lecturer. Please help welcome today's guest, Hafsat. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited that you're here. I know you're passionate about... <laughs> I know, I know, we're all excited. I know you're passionate about creating nutritious and delicious meal for your family. And yeah. today we're going to be making fish and green sauce with bald yam. Everything looks so yummy. It looks yum, and I really I know you can't wait to like start. Yeah. So we're going to go on a really short break, and we'll come back and we'll tell you how to make this delicious and fantastic iftar. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. Like I said before, I'm going to be taking you through what we're going to be using to make this delicious dish. The first thing that we're going to be using to make this sauce is the tomatoes. We need our sauce base. We'll be using tatashe, vegetable oil. Um, this is scotch bonnet, Maggie crayfish, onion, ground crayfish, already cut and washed um, yam. And these are the vegetables we have. Can you guess which one is which? Um, well, this looks familiar, but I can't remember the name. It's ugu, actually. You can use ugu. Oh. But then, it depends on the vegetable you have at home. Sometimes, some people grow vegetables in their backyard, so you can just, <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, I, mean, I can imagine. Yeah, you can just go back, pluck it, you know, to make this sauce. Anything from your kitchen, so anything from... So how about this? What uh, kind of vegetable have? is this? Oh, this is curry leaf, and this is scent leaf. It's just to give it more flavor and, you know... That's Razzle -dazzle. I can't wait to taste this. <laughs> yeah, also we'll be using smoked um, mackerel fish. So, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is boil the yam. Can you please okay. help me fill up the pot with I'm water? To clean my hands with. first. I already started by washing my hands, so I'm good. Oh, that's fine. Let so me we help you with the yam, yam here. Yes, so when the water is halfway the pot, just help me put the yam in the pot while okay, I get fine. the frying pan we're going to use for the sauce. No problem. Are we cooking everything? Yes, everything. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> fine. The most beautiful thing about yam is that, you know, because it's rich in carbohydrates, you need all the energy that you would use in worshiping after iftar, so. Yep, yeah. I think the water is enough. Thank you. Okay, we are going to be cooking it here. Let me turn on. Well, do you know some people actually always had sugar to their yam? Well, do you as well? Um, sometimes, yes, but salt is sufficient to okay. make the dish. Let's That's perfect just, then. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about yam? Is there any story that you have? Is there a way you love preparing yam? Hmm. That, you know, the, we are using boiled yam for this one. There are other ways to make yam. Which one is your most favorite way to make yam? I think fried yam is my favorite actually. Yes, because I used to have a woman back then in school she actually make fry yam. Yeah. So whenever we're coming from school, I always stop by to, you know, me and my friends, like she's very, very neat. So whenever we get back to our place, she fries the yam freshly fried, like. Oh, that's very so nice. Let me I'll start with by. the sauce. Yeah. I'll stop by to buy fried yam from her with sauce. 
and I'm good for the day once I taste that I am, I'm okay. Then when I get I, home, I'll just take a very chilled malt <laughs> or coke. <laughs> yeah, very nice but off. the beautiful thing about yam and sauce is that there are so many various ways to make it. We're using boiled yam, even though you talked about fried yam. You can also roast it if you want. You know, in your oven, roast it. And this is another sauce that you can try with it. So I'm just going to use all the onions, everything here, the ingredients, you can just use everything, yeah. Oh, careful. Yeah, it's cooking. <laughs> We're just going to add all the pepper. Yeah, let me move this closer, so it'll be easier for you. Thank you. You're welcome. That was the tatashe. Then this is the rodo. Hmm. Uh, it's sizzling. If you feel that it is too dry, you can add a little bit more oil. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's oil. I thought it was water. <laughs> no, water. no, no. I mean, by the time you start adding vegetables, they release water a little bit. Even the tomato has water in it. Yeah. So why are you adding your tomato last? Is there any reason for that? Not really. I mean, there is no wrong or right way to do this sometimes. So you can always go by any style of your choice. Yeah, that's that's what's fun about being a home cook. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I, I just think I actually love being in the kitchen so most times. Oh, yeah, I I know you mm. love that. I mean, I know you don't eat a lot, but I know that you love Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the most beautiful thing um, about Ramadan. You know, it's time for us to, like, bond over food, about community, about eating nutritious meals that is going to help our body for all the worship we need to do during exactly. Ramadan. Okay. So I'm just going to put um, some fish. Yeah. Right? Okay. Not everything for this one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the vegetables are going to go last. It smells nice. It does smell Even nice. without hiding yourself here. Yeah. It's smelling nice. And then it's time for our Let Maggie crayfish. The secret ingredient. <laughs> or not so secret anyways, because... Let me help you with salt. Or oh, is it there? Oh, no. So Okay, so here's the thing about using Maggi cubes. A lot okay. of times, you don't need salt stew. in your dish anymore because Maggi is sufficient for all the flavor and all the saltiness wow. that you need. Yes, and there's already salt in the yam. So I'm just going to let that fry a little bit on low heat and then... You we'll add the fish. Can you Let check me... your yam? Oh, no, it's it's already. Right to take oh. So if you think your yam is too dry, this is a tip I'm happy to share with you and our viewers at home. Okay. When your yam is too dry, you can add onions in it when you're boiling it and it's going to make it softer when you're wow. about to consume it. I've learned something today. I think I'll try <laughs> that when I get home. Yeah. Too. Woo. Yeah, I know. Um, well, we're just going to let it cook a little bit more. And we're going to go on a break and then we'll continue. See you with guys our later. <laughs> Let me help you clean up. Thank you. Whew. You're welcome. Okay, so it's been cooking for a while now. Now I'm going to add the fish to the sauce. Hmm. But while I'm doing that, the question I have for you is. What's the meaning of Suratul Khaf? Let me guess. Guess? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so... I think, um... The elephant? Yes, it's the elephant. Wow, that um, means I guess right. Yeah, I mean, it is a surah that we are recommended to read every Friday. And yeah, the most important know. lesson for me in the surah is about the story of the companions. You know, it's important the people you surround yourself with yeah. that is going to help you when you are together and guide you in life, that kind of thing. I'm just going to cook it again on low heat for 30 seconds, just so that it will not burn. We've added water so that it will not dry up that fast. Mm. We're going to be using all the vegetables because it's a proper green sauce. Let me just reduce the heat a little bit. I'm going to wait for it to mix together with the sauce. And when it has mixed together, I'm going to then add more. Do you want me to dice everything or? Oh yeah, you? everything, everything. Oh. Okay, that's fine. It's a proper green sauce. You can see that it's looking very green. 
Now that they've mixed together, I'm going to just add the rest of the vegetable. I think, I think this is okay now. Yeah. Okay. So should I help you with this? Yes, please. We're adding in the scent leaves. Mix it all together so that it can steam yeah. together. Thank you. You're welcome. So how about this? The curry leaves as well, yep. thank you. You're welcome. Just a handful. If you like, you can actually dice it, but it's not compulsory. Okay. And you know, by adding all this vegetable, this sauce is very rich in fiber. So it's going to also keep you feeling fuller for all the activities you need to do during the night. We don't need to add water to it. You know vegetable, when you are cooking Because I was about to ask. Uh, no, you don't need to add any more water. We're it going to check kind on of that. very dry, and is that how it's going to be served? Or is it the vegetable itself will bring out the, the juice? The vegetable will bring out the juice. Perfect. Yes. I'm just going to reduce the heat so that it doesn't overcook, and we're going to check on our yam now. Okay. Woof. Okay, yeah. It's, yeah, it's already cooked. Let me help you with the seed. Thank you so much. Okay. When we come back, our iftar meal will be ready and plated. See you soon. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Ah, this looks amazing and delicious. Yeah. Our iftar is ready. Yep. So the beautiful thing about this dish is that it is nutrition dense. You know, it's rich in fiber. It's budget friendly. You can easily make this with simple ingredients and it is very nutritious as well. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, before we go, oh. I have one question for you. Okay. Just one question. So do you think um, when you want to break your yeah. fast, um, is it preferable to use either water or your fruits? Which one should come I first? I mean, it's always better for you to break your fast with water. Okay. Then you can follow it up with fruits. That's perfect. Yeah, may Allah bless it for us. Amen. <laughs> Masha Allah. <laughs> our iftar meal is served, as you can see, and we're ready to break our fast. This meal is the perfect meal for everyone and has balanced nutrients. So make sure to extend the iftar invitations to your loved ones, friends, and even neighbors. Follow us on all our social media platforms to see delicious meals and wonderful recipes. Till I see you again on the next episode of Maggie Diaries, we are wishing you joyous iftars and Ramadan blessings. Remember, with Maggie, everyone is welcome. Yeah. See you soon. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah.